Hey man, look. Look, y'all wanna meet my cat? Look, he is doing. What's up, Luna? Look at the camera. Look. Look, man, let me tell you something, man. When I was at my lowest point, when I was at my lowest point, I was one stage above the graveyard. I was one stage above the cemetery. I was in federal prison. This was in 2014, 2015, and a one month of 2016. When I was at my lowest point in the joint, I still knew that I was going to make a comeback. 100%, 1000%. I knew unequivocally and with conviction, man, that I was coming back. That I, that I was the one that fucked my life up and that I was going to have to be the one to get it right, to fix it. And I knew, I knew instinctively, I knew spiritually, mentally, physically, I was in the best shape I had ever been in my life. I knew I was going to make a comeback. I didn't know how. I didn't know how because I was getting out of jail when I got out of prison. I was 47 years old. Excuse me. I was 47 years old. I didn't know how. I knew I had a federal felony conviction, white collar crime, fraud, and I knew I couldn't get no job. I had the bachelor's degree in accounting. I got a master's degree in finance. I knew nobody wasn't going to hire me. You know what I'm saying? But I was going to try. I reached out. When I got out of prison, I reached out to a dude that I knew that owned his own private equity firm on Wall Street. You know, I saw he had raised about $200 million for his private equity firm. I called him and sent him all my stuff and uh, told him, said, look, man, I'll answer the phone. I'll go get y'all coffee for free. I'll, I'll do anything. Just let me get in and let me show you and demonstrate my work ethic. And then I knew if I would have got in, I was going to elevate because that's what I do. He told me he didn't have the money. I told him I worked for free. He said he had the money. He turned me down. I tried to get a job at Wendy's. I tried to get a job at the Ghost Gym. They turned me down. But I still, that never deterred me. That never uh, deflated me. I, I knew I was going to make a comeback, right? Because I knew that I am a winner. I'm a champion, right? I had already overcome my drug and alcohol addiction. I had been clean over 20 something years. Today, while you're watching this video, this is March 19th, 2024. I'm clean over 33 years. I knew I had did that. So I knew I had seen adversity before, you know, I've been homeless before. I, you know, I, I didn't, I lived my life, you understand? And I knew that I was going to come back. And, and a big part of the motivation, it wasn't everything. A lot of it was little Sean, right? Because I had this other human being in my life that had my same name, right? So I couldn't goddamn give up and quit. And he got my name. So he got to live under, because our kids live under our performance. Whatever you, you can say whatever you want, man. Your kids live under your performance. If you ain't shit, then people going to look at your seeds like they ain't shit because of you. So I said, nah, man, I can't do that to this dude. You understand? 
and, and, and um, you know, I knew I was going to win, man. I knew I was going to win. And I met some dudes, man, in the joint, in the feds. I met some niggas in the feds, man, some real geniuses, some real, real wizards, man, strong motherfuckers, man. And I drew strength from their strength. You understand? And, and, and uh, I just knew I was going to make a comeback, man. And, you know, I have to say that my haters, right, and my enemies were a major, major impetus. They were a significant driving force to to make my comeback too because I knew I was better than them niggas, right? The, one, the people that ratted on me, the people that cooperated with the feds against me to help send me to prison, I knew I was better than them before I went to prison, so I'm better than you now, way better than you now. And, and I had to, you know, I wanted to make my comeback and then put it in their face and let them know, nigga, you can't fuck with me. You understand? You, I was better than you then your whole life. I've been better than you. I'm better than you now. And uh, I, I, you know, I knew I was going to make a comeback. I knew, I knew, I knew, and I knew it within. I didn't need to have no conversation with my man, with her. I didn't have to watch no motivational speakers. I didn't have to listen to no audio, no nothing. I knew. I did the work, man. I did the internal work, and, and, and I believed in me, man. I believed in me, man. You understand? And I made a comeback. I came back, man. I came back. Look at this shirt. This is one of my first shirts I ever made. Where your abs at? You got abs? You ain't got no abs. You need something wrong. You saw mine. You saw that turtle shell. You saw that turtle shell. You saw them balls of soap down there. I say this to you just to tell you my story. That's all I could do. This is my real life. What I'm saying to you, this is my real life. And I ain't one of them motivational speakers or, you know, that could tell you, yeah, you could come back too. And we all can make a comeback. That ain't true. No, you can't. Everybody can't. That's a lie. That's a lie. That's a lie. Everybody can't do it. Everybody don't got the will to do it. Everybody don't got the strength to do it. Everybody don't have the resolve to do it. Everybody don't have the resilience to do it. Everybody don't have the dedication to do it. The fortitude, the consistency, the focus. Hocus pocus, keep the focus. Hocus pocus, keep the focus. Everybody can't do that. Everybody can't do that. So I ain't finna tell you, I don't know what you could do. I don't know what you could do, but I did it. I know I could do it. And I say these stories to y'all so y'all can look and maybe draw inspiration and strength in, in your situation. But I ain't going to be the one to tell you, yeah, you could do it. I don't know. You might be weak. You might not be strong enough. You might be weak. But you understand? I ain't. I make comebacks, man. That's what I do. Sean G, it don't never stop. Go on my website and buy a shirt or something. Get my hoodie. I got my hoodies. My books is over there. The link is in the bio. Gummypublishing.bigcartel.com. Go on the website now and, and uh, buy my joint ski joint. Support, support. The Scully, these are sold out. This shirt is sold out. I may bring them back later, but I got some other dope. All my, all my gear. All my gear on my website is the flyest gear ever. You know why? Because it's mine. Because it's mine. All my gear on my website is the flyest gear on the planet. Because I made it. Because I made it. That's why. I believe in me, man. I got confidence, man. I got confidence in myself, man. I believe in my powers and my abilities, man. I believe in me, man. Sean G. Don't ever stop. Peace.